Hi everyone, in this quick video I am going to give you a quick idea is how to encourage your customer to leave you good feedback or motivate them to leave you feedback when you sell an item on eBay here we are so I just particularly picked an item here this is a Paul Lauren pair of high top trainers for example right so how do we encourage when you sell this pair so the customer would leave you feedback if if they're happy with their purchase and how do they, how do we go about doing this so what we have to do first of all is you know you're going to do all of your packaging so we've got a box either you can put the box um in a gray mailing mailing bag or you can wrap this box using um, black or white cleaning films cleaning parcel films you know just like your normal cleaning film you can cover it up right so that's well and good so then how do we what do you need to do to motivate them you could easily write a slip thanking them for their purchase and then you stick it inside the box good idea but it seems it'd be uh, I I'm not sure what they're going to um, give you feedback on that just because you so send them thank them and I put them piece of paper they might throw it away uh, what would I tend to do in my eBay business uh, I tend to use a pre-printed uh, label and here we are we have the label yeah, as you can see, all it says inside the label, I'll focus a bit more. It says, thank you for your purchase. If you are pleased with your purchase, then your feedback would be helpful as a guide for any future eBay customers. So basically what you telling them on a little message, uh, thank you so much for buying this item from me. Now I need you to give me a good feedback. So a polite way of putting it rather than saying, oh, go on, put me some good feedback. I need it. So, and how do you use that message to convey <clears throat> a call of action? So you, ha you have to figure out. So what what I tend to do is what you probably want to do is what I've noticed is if I were to put that box the shoe box inside the the gray mailing box mailing parcel bag and then if I were to stick the label one of these labels here on top of here on the mailing box and the sorry mailing uh, the the gray parcel parceling bag you know the plus in this bag here right um, what would happen is when the the buyer gets the item obviously they're going to take this gray mailing box mailing bag out of they will tear it out so the chance of your nice lovely shiny sticker would go to the dustbin with your with your mailing bag and the same principle will apply to the the cleaning films 
that will also, if you stick it on top of that, that will also go in the dustbin, throw it away, or trash bin. They will just trash it. So you, in turn, what you've done, you've lost your message. The point you're trying to put across. If you were to put on that box, for example, in that black box, the shoe box, and also the same thing will happen, they will throw the box away. So your message goes with your box. So how do we get the message across to the buyer customer to give us a good feedback? So what we do, what you should do, or I, I tend to do, is I often will place a sticker if I'm selling a shoe and I will make sure stick that label somewhere around on the tip of the shoe or side of the shoe for example or any other item I always, always like to um, So there is the example there where I put the label on the tip of the uh, the shoe here. So one has to take it out. So when the buyer gets it, obviously they're going to read that read the label, read the notice and before they wear it they have to take it out take the label literally they have to tear it off so they will read the message if you're sending a toy item make sure you put it make sure any item you're selling it's always Get make some of these labels. You can you can buy them from eBay. There are tons of them on eBay. You can buy them from Amazon. Uh, you know, make up whatever sentence you like, and make sure you it looks professional. And and that way you will encourage your feedback. And. The, the buyer will be pleased, you will be pleased. And this is how I get my lovely, lovely feedback. As you can see, that's my trading name here. Although I've recently lost my top rated seller status, it did not, it hasn't. Um, cause me any harm in trading. I'm still selling as good as I did before. I've never no, I've yet to notice any difference in my taking. In fact it's gone up since I lost my top rated seller status. This sort of positive feedback I'm getting from customers. Last one here top rated recommended to all. Look at that one it says top eBay I recommend it to all. And the next one is a brilliant, better than I expected, super fast delivery as well, cheers. And I can go on, it says here, excellent, will hopefully use again, happy with product seller, as described, great, thank you, good eBay, okay. Good eBay, I would use again. Now look at this, a AAA product, AAA seller, AAA plus speedy delivery, thanks. Many thanks, lovely books, excellent seller, great and fast communication, will be recommending, look at that. Excellent quality, super communication, well packaged, very quick post. PS game, this is one, of really happy with the item and super quick delivery uh, no problem smooth transaction 
great item, happy, five-star seller. I can go on and on, excellent, five-star service, good to do 100%, look at that. So when you get that kind of feedback from your customer, you it, it warms your heart, you know, it, it, sh it shows you yeah, that you're doing something well, you know. So this is only one way of engaging your customer to get to give you more feedback. Um, there are other ways of doing it. You can always send them an email, but uh, sometimes it's very rare that they will answer to your email or your request. So I tend to find this is the easiest form of getting um, raising your feedback. What you're doing is politely asking them to please leave a feedback. So it's not only this, I can go on and on, on and on, you know. So as an eBay seller, it encourages me to keep up the good works and provide the good service as I do. So I've hope this video has given you a bit of thought and you've learned something from this little video you know I'm still growing and when I see this feedback from customers it's, it makes me eager more and more I want to do more and more for this um, for my business so even if you get a bad experience from a seller, before you start having a sling match, you know, think for a second and think, look, customers always, customers always right. Even if the customer is wrong, you have to treat the customer, they're always right. But it's not worth getting into a sling match with a customer, paying customer. So I had one or two issues. I am not perfect. But, you know, I tend to resolve it without getting in a, in a, um, a wrestling match. You know, waste my time, waste their time and emailing backwards and forwards now doesn't help a situation. All I tend to do is just refund them. That's all. I don't ask questions. Um, recently I had a case where I sold an item. It was for I think about 14, 15 pound. And They've um, obviously claim is broken and they wanted me to refund the money. So what I did is I've sent them an email apologizing, ex accepting probably my fault and then nicely writing in the email that please could you kindly supply me with a photo so I can make a claim against my courier company meaning that I told them to supply me a photo so I can make counterclaim against my courier company and would you believe it? I yet to hear from the the buyer. So simple wording like, so you're not you're not disbelieving the 
situation or you dis not be dis-willing that person, all you're saying is please provide me with um, photographic evidence that the item is broken so I can make a claim against the courier company. You know, whether that be your local company or your post office or whatever, you want to make a claim. So you want a photographic evidence from the, the buyer. Thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like, subscribe. Please also comment on the channel. And I hope to bring you more for more and more videos on good ideas on internet selling and internet marketing and eBay selling and all the rest of it. all that good stuff. Once again, happy selling everyone on the eBay and Amazon platform. If you're selling, sorry, if you're selling on Amazon or eBay, good luck to you all and thank you so much for watching this video.